Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the creator and head witch behind Bahati Life Apothecary and of course I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for joining me once again as we dive into the chart for the new moon that's happening on July 28th. And I have the time pulled up, the chart pulled up for 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This new moon is gonna be happening in the sign of Leo. Now, as you guys know, I am very, very thorough when it comes to sharing my astrological and intuitive predictions with the world. So you can expect that here now again today. So hopefully you have some tea or some water, whatever it is that is your vibe at this moment in time. I think I'm drinking white rose tea. I can link it down below if you guys would like because I did buy it from one of my favorite brands which can be found on Amazon, which is where I get this on autopilot. <laughs> like as soon as I run out, I've already not run out because it's already on my door and I'm ready to, for my next cup. So that's just things that I like. Anyways, so this new moon happening the sign of Leo, you guys, is a little wobbly and wonky, especially when it comes to communication, especially when it comes to past lessons and experiences that seem to kind of be repeating themselves. What is going on with this Leo new moon? Well, there's a few situations here that are being highlighted and I can see that it has a lot to do with self-worth, self-value, you speaking out, you speaking your truth, you putting yourself out there, you feeling like what you contribute, the light that you shine is something that's worthy, valuable. Some of you guys have been hiding away probably because of like ex um, experiences or circumstances that are completely outside of your control. This could be um, trauma happening with your family or your friends that has you distracted. This could be you having to focus more on the day-to-day -day realities of things. For example, if you are struggling with work, <clears throat> or if money is going up and going down, which I can see within the chart with Uranus transiting through the sign of Taurus, or if, if life as you know, the foundation that you need in order to feel safe, in order for you to even like focus on like next level, if that is crumbling, then of course you can't show up and, and shine and sing and express yourself and create because the root of your survival is being compromised. And that's something that I'm 1000% seeing within this chart. It's interesting because as I'm looking at the chart, there's a lot of triggers that are happening here. And what I can tell at the time of the new moon, and again, this is July 28th, is that the collective is really wanting, craving, needing comfort now more than ever. There is so many swings going up and going down. This is things that we can see, of course, when we look at the news, when we turn on the TV, there's there's a lot when it comes to policy change, when it comes to acts of violence, when it comes to business, when it comes to economy and commerce, when it comes to agriculture and food, supply shortages. All of these things are things that I predicted in the past few years as Uranus and as the planets kind of align themselves for the circumstances that we're experiencing right now today, right? So with, of course, all these things happening, we want, we need, we crave, we desire comfort. We need to feel nurtured. We need to feel supported. We need to feel safe. That is what you are gravitating towards. That is what you need in order for you to feel abundant, for you to feel fruitful. So at the time of this new moon, I want to encourage you guys to set the intention for fruitfulness, for abundance. A lot of you guys are like, Jess, as if I haven't done that already. I know, I totally get it. I totally get it, but if you want to be more specific with your intentions and with your magic and with everything that's going on in the planets, you're gonna to wanna to focus on 
I don't want to say luxury goods, but the everyday tangible things that you are going to need to like that you can put your hands on as proof that you are feeling safe. Now, what I want you guys to do is completely throw away the logical reasoning and explanations for, well, the only reason why I want this is because this is coming from my wounded child space. The truth is, is that with Chiron, which rules the wounded child sitting through the sign of Aries, retrograde right now, at the time of this new moon, I understand 1000% about psychological healing, doing better for yourself, um, healing and, and nurturing the, the, the childhood traumas or things that just kind of like are your Achilles tendon. Like you could be so strong on top of the world, but if someone says this or if this happening happens, it can just take you down, right? I totally get the, the growth and the progress that you have made with Neptune transiting into the sign of Pisces. So many of you guys are in the very mature stage within psychology, within counseling, within therapy, within self-help, within emotional maturing, within your intuitive journey journeys and your spiritual journeys. So there is a heightened sense of understanding in why you do what you do. And I'm giving you 100% credit for that. But as your astrologer, and as your astrological best friend, and as your best friend outside of that, I will tell you that looking at the chart, I'm not saying that you throw all of that out of the window. I'm just saying that with Chiron retrograde and in the sign of Aries, there needs to be a little bit of adjustment and you self-soothing so that you don't self-sabotage, especially with transits that we're looking at today. With Venus transiting through the sign of Cancer, again, Cancer wants to be in the home, she wants to feel supported, she wants to feel nurtured, she wants to feel emotionally safe. And what things, people, tangible things, evidence can you have and create within your reality, within your existence, in order to give yourself that today? Now, if these are things that you don't already have, especially with Mars, which rules our ambition, which rules our drive, which rules our ability to focus and to achieve and to go after in the sign of Taurus, which rules our tangibles, the things that we, it is that we value and Uranus is swinging up and down. So let's say if these are things that we don't have, like a warm cup of tea or a warm blanket or our best friend, my, I'm pointing at Franklin here, which you guys can't see him, but he's taking a nap right by my side, he's so cute. Um, if these are things that, uh, like a, a, a good candle that's burning or your favorite chapstick, if these are not things that you have around you, and for some reason I'm getting chills, you guys. So if these are not things that you have around you or things that for whatever reason they haven't materialized or you're struggling to get your hands on them or you're struggling to reconcile with something that's going on in your world, these are the very things that you are going to want to manifest set intention for. Now, this is from the very small things such as the chapstick that I was just talking about or a hot cup that makes your tea last, you know, stay hot as long as possible to the more major things. For example, if you see yourself as a real estate agent, if you see yourself as owning a boat, if you see yourself as living on a boat in the middle of the ocean because of global warming, because that's what's gonna make you feel safe. If you see yourself living on a farm, doing sustainable living or hydroponic farming, right? All of those things our spirit is, is, uh, is nudging you towards and the stars are pointing you towards to look towards the stars and they say now is the time to manifest these things now is the time to plant those seeds and what i love about the new moon happening the sign of leo is that leo is another sign that is connected to childhood that is connected to play that is connected to creativity and the thing that happens is that if you do not feel safe, if you do not feel stable, if you do not feel like happy, it's really hard for you to be able to create and to um, have, I, wanna, I don't wanna say good luck, but for you to be able to manifest good fortune, good abundance and all those things around you because there's a part of you internally that senses instability, chaos, dysfunction, discord. 
And what I want to remind you guys of, and so this is something that I talk about on my YouTube channel very often, especially when I'm talking about the astrology charts right now, because they're very unpredictable. With Pluto, which rules transformation, retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, totally dismantling all government systems and all established ways of doing things that have been established since like the dawning of fucking humanity, pardon my French, Pluto just is coming in with a sledgehammer and just destroying them, dismantling them. Then we have Saturn, which rules regulations, which rules the rules, which rules the leaders, which rules um, self-control and I don't say self-mastery, but our ability to be mature enough and to do the right thing and to and to be committed and firm with that and stable. With Saturn moving to the sign of Aquarius, we are waiting and I've told, talked to you guys about this for a minute. I've, I wrote about it in my Complete Guide to 2022. We are waiting for the new leader. We are waiting for this person who thinks ahead. But with Saturn retrograde, it's like we'll take those steps and we take those steps back. Not only is this happening globally, but this is also gonna be happening in your personal life where it's gonna be really hard for you to grasp, okay, where are we going? What is happening here? Where are we headed? Then it's almost like, Internally in your personal life, you might find yourself making like repeated patterns, repeated mistakes and having to reopen wounds or do for yourself now in a way that you haven't done before because maybe you just now have this like fresh breath of fresh air, this fresh start, which you're happy about and excited about, but have some level of shame because it's triggering something within you that you haven't totally healed yet so back to what it was that i was saying with the new moon happening the sign of leo you guys this is this the the new moon from what i can tell of self-sufficiency self-nurturing self-support and the reason why is because that small thing those small things of those comfortable things that are around you that's time for you to manifest, those tiny details are the very things that are gonna support you and nurture you and make you feel good and great that are going to help you and usher you into a bigger platform and a bigger space of abundance regardless of what's going on in the economy, regardless of what's going on in the world, okay? So it starts with that that need for, okay, I'm gonna put myself, not, I don't say first, but I'm going to give to myself and my inner child the things that he, she, they are asking for now at this point in my journey. And I'm going to feed that without any hesitation and without any harm. No hesitation and no harm. This means that you're not gonna hesitate to give yourself the very things that you may need if you need to, you know, have a, 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 warm, a warm blanket or a hug from your friend. But these are also things that are not gonna harm you or set you back, okay? So I do wanna say that this new moon is happening on July 28th. But right afterwards, I believe August 1st of 2022, yep, August 1st of 2022 at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Astro Chat Live is going to resume. For those of you guys that don't know, Astro Chat Live was <laughs> one of the most awesome, epic astro astrological live shows that I believe is offered in the world, and it happened on my channel. Yes, here on Body Life YouTube. The reason why we took a break, me, myself, and I, was because I needed to focus on my mental health. I needed to focus on like what I was going through and you know, New Orleans was a rocky time and we bought a house. We manifested the house, the house of our dreams. We manifested the chickens, all of those things, guys. We manifested a second business, Queen Bee Homestead Co. All of these things have been manifested, materialized, and those are things that I had to do for me, for my own path. And now that the picture is pretty much complete. 9.7 per like 9.7 out of 10 complete. It's time for us to bring Astro Chat Live back, as I've been promising. So, for those of you guys that have been telling me that your calendars still ding, or and your alarms are still set for Astro Chat Live at 7 p.m. every single Monday, 
now is your time. Thank you guys for being so patient and committed to me and what I've been going through and knowing that I was going to come back. But I am at the, at the end of the day one person. And just like you, I'm going through the same transits, right? Okay, we are all under this together, but we're all aligned. And as long as we are honoring our path and being authentic and moving with integrity, we have nothing to worry about because all things will work out and prevail eventually, right? If not now, then and then a little bit later. So I do wanna invite you guys officially here right now to put in your calendars for August 1st of 2022 at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be streaming here on YouTube. So you can turn on your notifications. You can also follow me on Instagram because I'll streaming, uh, will be streaming live there and also on TikTok. So it'll, it'll all be set up so you can see me from different angles and, and join in the conversation. But the core who I will be talking to is gonna be on YouTube because as you guys know, I'm able to engage with you guys through the comments. Or if you don't know, now you know. And it's really, really cool. It's always a vibe. Sometimes it's like we're partying, it's like EDM music, like house music, it's such a high vibe. And then other times, it's the this really relaxed, really calm, high vibration. Other times it's an emotional connection. It all depends on what's going on in the planets. It all, all depends on what's going on in the collective. What can you expect during Astro Chat Live? Pretty much the astrological breakdown of the week ahead, which is something that I haven't been doing this year because I wrote the complete guide to 2022 and I was focusing on Bahati Life, my home, and the Queen Bee Homestead Co. So all those things were in motion. Um, the final reno renovations of my home are almost done, which is so exciting, including the apothecary, the home apothecary. So we will be shooting from there, hopefully, un unless there's a delay and they need a little bit more time in order to work out the floors and stuff like that. But it'll be really, really cool. Okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. If you guys have any comments or questions about this new moon, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And um, if you have any questions or concerns or anything outside of that, or if you need to find me, I'll be working my magic in Bahati Life Apothecary, and I will be creating an oil for that new moon, okay? And for those of you guys that don't know, uh, conjure oils or intention oils are oils that are created with a certain specific blend of herbs that match the energy of the planets in order to complement or to help you kind of navigate through some rocky waters. Right now, the biggest thing that's standing out to me when it comes to magic and manifestation is making sure that everyone feels safe, supported, and is has like a solid foundation for themselves, especially when it comes to finances and resources and all those types of things, and comfort and luxury. So speaking of luxury, the oils are top notch from the base oil that it is that I use, from the, oil, um, the herbs that it is that I um, have access to from the intention and the focus and the time. These are things that can't be rushed. You guys know that. I will never compromise that. I haven't yet. I won't ever. So you guys know. Oh, and shout out to everyone that left a review recently. I feel like I'm kind of deviating from uh, the new moon a little bit, but I forgot that I opened up the website for Bahati Life website for reviews. Um, and went to check maybe a few months later, 458 positive, almost near five, like almost five star reviews later, blown away. And it's always so funny when it is that I see it because I'll be like in the most, I'll be in the grocery store and I'll just like be so stunned, stopped out of my tracks, burst into tears because I'm like, oh my gosh. So thank you guys so much for everyone who left the reviews. Thank you guys for no, for everyone who's noticed that I have made huge freaking strides when it comes to shipping, especially international shipping, especially during COVID times. Psh, have you guys, do you guys, have you tried operating a small business during COVID times and, and COVID recovery times? It is not even like possible and somehow, you know, manifestation is real. Manifestation is real. So. Thank you literally for all of the feedback. Thank you for all of the love. And I really wanted to give myself and my brand a chance to speak for itself. And it has. 
and it's people like you and love like you and my repeat customers and my clients who come back and tell me about your testimonials and tell me about how you anointed yourself with the oil and you shook hands with someone and the, the deal was set. It was set in stone and then it knocked it out of the ballpark. My favorite are the people who don't believe in magic and try it out and then literally become lifetime subscribers to magic and how it works after being complete skeptics. Those are my favorite people. And if you know me, you know. All right, guys, I'm sending you all my love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Mahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.